Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm where uh, I have to go cook the first blackberry cobbler of the summer of 2024 on this glorious evening. As uh, two doomers show up uh, for the evening. So, uh, guys, I, 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 I hate to sound like the broken record I'm becoming. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Thursday, July 18th, uh, 2024. But uh, I, I am just uh, amazed at how... Uh, that little kerfuffle on Saturday uh, is uh, is still reverberating in my mind, and no shit, Sherlock. Uh, well, I, I I kind of made this prediction on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I did make the prediction uh, somewhere in uh, in my rant on Saturday, right after that little kerfuffle, and 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 that was the prediction. Uh, and, and and again, I I I I I just have to be so careful. Uh, but it was basically the predict. All right, I'm just going to read the latest uh, story. Uh, so as long it, it, it looks like the reason that Russell Brand is able to to uh, get by the YouTube cop bots is if he just kind of reads verbatim from the mainstream media. If I say say it my video and maybe my channel would get ripped down, but if the mainstream media says it, and I just read it, uh, so yesterday we heard about some, I uh, can't remember this guy's name, uh, basically, it's a musician losing his job for uh, making a comment about that little kerfuffle. Uh, may, uh, some people think it was a joke, or maybe it was a joke, maybe it wasn't. Uh, but anyway, take a wild guess from USA Today, who I think is who reported. It's right out of here at USA Today. This is the third biggest story on the planet and I'm going to send this out to some of my favorite doomers who are, you know, all freaked out about how, uh, what is it, Project 2025 and Donald Trump being reelected are going to be the beginning of the end of free speech uh, in, uh, in you know, uh, on social media and, and all over this planet, well, we are already well into the beginning of the end of free, of free speech. Uh, as anybody who's tried to comment on YouTube or Yahoo News or anything, the tiniest little thing that could, could upset somebody is going to get yanked, but uh, there's worse things than having your comments pulled down. Take it away. USA Today, people across the nation have lost their jobs after posting about Trump shooting. It's not just Tenacious D bandmate Kyle Gass, who I talked about yesterday. In the wake of the violent attempt on former and future President Donald Trump's life, plenty of people took to social media to make jokes and comments and they are reaping 
the consequences. School employees, a restaurant worker, a fire chief, and a political aide have all lost their jobs or resigned after outrage over their posts according to statements by their employers and news reports, uh, then they rehash the story I went over yesterday about that musician getting shit canned for making a, a joke on stage. Celebrities' comments are certainly in the spotlight after a tragic incident. But regular people need to be careful about what they say, too, even if it is meant in jest. Communication experts say joking about an assassination attempt that left a citizen, citizen dead is going too far. Uh, I, I, I will say in all of the private non-public conversations I've had with people from all over uh, agreeing uh, with, with, with some of these posts, uh, probably I have never heard one person make a joke about the dude who was, uh, who was killed uh, by that guy. Anyway, so uh, this is Karen North, a psychologist and professor of digital social media at USC. Did you know you could be a professor of digital social media? Quote, no matter how private your life is, everybody has an audience and there is always an audience for people misbehaving. Yes. An instructor at Bellarmine University in Louisville, Kentucky was put on unpaid leave over what university officials said on Monday was, quote, an offensive and unacceptable media post, close quote. By Tuesday, John James was no longer employed there, though it's not clear if uh, he resigned or was fired. James's comments about the shooter missing were screenshotted and posted by the conservative social media account Libs of TikTok. This is uh, John Cicel, Assistant Vice President for Communications at Bellarmine. Quote, words and actions that condone violence are unacceptable and contrary to our values, which call for respecting the intrinsic value and dignity of every individual, close quote. Similar comments about the shooting made by other non-celebrities have prompted backlash too. Another post by Libs of TikTok highlighted comments made by a worker at the Tupelo Honey Southern Kitchen and Bar. The restaurant later said in a post that the worker was no longer employed and had violated the company's social media policy. Others now out of a job include a middle school behavior facilitator in South Dakota and a Pennsylvania fire chief. Uh, in Wayne, Pennsylvania, the Wayne Business Association said its secretary resigned after a post about the sh shooting. So, what is the takeaway from all of this? Uh, Rob, let me know if someone is approaching. Are you filming? Yeah. Uh, which is what I was doing. 
when she was bringing me this thing of cookies. Uh, thank God I, I happened to look up and, and, and see our next door neighbor coming in with a plate of cookies while I was uh, talking about that I hope everyone on this fucking planet goes to bed tonight and doesn't wake up tomorrow morning. Anyway. So, what is the takeaway for us social media stars? The idea that people should be fired for their social media posts has come from all sides of the political spectrum in recent years, North said. But this time, people should be able to agree. People should be able to agree that some comments are inappropriate. There are just some places that are not allowed on social media, as uh, I was saying on Saturday. <clears throat> Quote, when it comes to things like wishing somebody had died, there is nothing more horrible than making public statements about that, she said. Social media removes the social cues we get from typical interactions, for instance, with your neighbor bringing you plates of cookies. If you start to make an inappropriate comment or joke among work colleagues, for example, you might notice them cringe or look away, and then you apologize and walk back what you said. When you post something online, the reaction comes later. The desire to be the first to share an idea to your circle <coughs> might prevent you from asking yourself whether you would say this to an audience or whether it should be kept around the dinner table with immediate family, North said. And remember the cardinal rule of social media, once it's out there, it's out there forever. Quote, social media has become the town square where people are put in the stocks and held out there to be humiliated because of their actions. And I would say uh, not just their actions, but their words. And uh, so uh, let, let me make a few predictions. And this has nothing to do uh, with Project 2025, or it doesn't have to. Uh, you, what you're going to see over the next year, and, and this really went into high gear with Corona Panic, as we all know, is when this, this cop bot, this YouTube and all the rest of them, I'm sure cop bot, just overreaction, went into overdrive, that was the, uh, the all-clear signal to the cop bots. That uh, it all started with Corona Panic. Uh, you either went with the company line, and, and, and now it's going to be this. And, and uh, I'm surprised we're not reading similar articles about Joe Biden uh, getting Corona Panic and people making the obvious joke about that. Uh, you, you're going to see more, well, obviously, uh, the, 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 this whole joke of even trying to post a comment to YouTube, much less a video. And by the way, I just have to throw in, do you guys realize that my video from my defunct channel, Doomudgeon, How to Fuck a Goat, How to Fuck a Goat, that's the headline of the video, uh, is still alive and well to this day up on Doomudgeon. 
Uh, you can still uh, go search for how to fuck a goat. And, uh, uh, and, and, and YouTube has never yanked down the video or anything. So it, it's gone to where a few years ago you could make a joke video called How to Fuck a Goat. All right. And, 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 and you would have a freedom of expression. We're going to see more and more and more of this uh, censorship. At what point am I going to cheer on the extinction of the human race? Right now, it is perfectly fine with uh, the YouTube cop bots for me to get out there and, and uh, cheer on the extinction of the human race, uh, wishing that everybody on the planet... Uh, including myself, would go to bed tonight and not wake up. Uh, so everybody on the planet includes everybody on the planet. I wish what was dead by morning. I can make this comment and, and I don't think I violated anything. Uh, you know, we doomers can sit here and talk about how fucked we are till we're blue in the face. At, at what point is uh, it, are, are, are people uh, gonna get sick of hearing Andy the gardener uh, cheering on an EMP taking uh, out humanity, bringing down global industrial civilization? You know, uh, but you're you're gonna see people a lot more people. This is the tip of the iceberg losing their jobs. It's not gonna surprise me if they start making laws, you, you know, with criminal penalties, uh, criminal monetary or jail time penalties, if you post a, uh, a, 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 you know, YouTube or whatever, your social media platform, you start posting comments that are going to offend somebody. Uh, that the thought police, uh, it, it, it's going to go into overdrive whether or not uh, Donald Trump uh, wins the presidency. And, and of course he is going to, but it, the same thing would have happened if uh, anybody else had managed to beat Donald Trump. It's, it, it's pretty much irrelevant at this point. Free speech is dead in this country. It's hanging on by a thread. The First uh, Amendment, the U.S. Constitution, is out the window. It is down the toilet. Do you get it? There is no longer a right to free speech in this country. And if you don't believe me, ask that gas guy uh, or all those people uh, out of a job today for uh, just posting either a joke or their opinion about a, a, a subject of, of interest to a lot of people. Anyway, kiss it goodbye, folks. Uh, one day I'm just going to turn on this channel and it's going to be gone. Anyway, I have got to wrap this up because I have really got to get out there and start making a blackberry cobbler to enjoy with my fellow doomers while we still can. Bye, guys. All right. Man, look at this day. The high today was 75 degrees, going down to 55 degrees tonight.